Good morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Smaller New Hampshire colleges working to keep COVID-19 cases low. Large schools dealing with surges. Granite State Colleges are working to keep COVID-19 cases on campus low, as some are currently dealing with surges. Surges are happening at some of the state's largest schools, the University of New Hampshire in Plymouth State. Officials at those schools said they are getting a handle on them. The smaller colleges, however, have active cases, but the numbers have remained low. The limited number of cases can be attributed to the difference in student population. St. Anselm College in Manchester had 23 active cases on Sunday. Those students are isolated and officials with the school said contact tracing was performed for each case. New England College in Henniker has had three people test positive for COVID-19, two had been taking part in remote learning at home, and the other is in isolation on campus. Both schools said they always knew they would have cases on their campuses, but with COVID-19 guidelines in place, including testing, their goal is to keep case numbers down. We've been averaging about 1,200 tests a week, a St. Anselm College spokesman said. That's about 90% of the student body. Testing is not the cure. Testing is simply for us to be able to detect that and it's here and from there, we can try to contain it. We have the capacity to isolate or quarantine about 75 students. New England College President Michelle Perkins said, we never even got close to that. We actually increased the number of beds for quarantine by moving some of the students around. And so far, we've only had one person in isolation. Both schools have students on campus in some manner. There are certain thresholds that could change that, including a rise in cases or hitting capacity in quarantine housing. And that's it for this morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you back here later on today for another news report. Goodbye, everyone.